chapter three is opportunity monopolized. So now we're going to get into the brass tacks of this program. So chapter three, it's a bit old fashioned at the start. It talks about a very different world to the world that we live in today. So this book was written over a hundred years ago in the early 1900s. There's talk of steam locomotives. There's talk of the air travel becoming a thing in the future, in the near future. There's talk of steel trusts. There's talk of major opportunities being in obtaining small tracts of land between 10 and 40 acres and cultivating them. Now clearly that was applicable at the time that the book was written but obviously uh, that's not really the case anymore. Agriculture has moved on. Um, you have to take it with a pinch of salt and think about what's you know what the current tide of of industry is and it's clearly you know digital internet uh information that kind of stuff so so yeah the next section of the chapter is i suppose answering the question is opportunity monopolized this notion that there is a shortage is dispelled as the author explains how things come to be how things are created and what we're talking about here is i suppose it's creationism really your how how things come into being and how things are created from as he puts it the formless stuff the formless substance um, out of which all things are made and everything is just a different interpretation of that substance so you could call it the ether you could call it god you could call it the universe you call it original substance but the idea here is that nature you know call it what you want nature god universe mother earth is is for you is for life is for advancement and if there is a requirement for anything it will be it will be produced and um, this I think this chapter requires a lot of study because great I've got a helicopter coming over because there seems to be a very clear belief nowadays that there is a shortage um, that the earth is in peril that you know we're destroying the planet in my opinion that is caused by a lack of faith a lack of understanding of chapter three uh, this idea that there's a finite quantity of stuff whether it's oil gold food this is just this is just not the case and we needn't worry about things being depleted and things running out because if we have a requirement for it then more will be made from the formless substance and I find this attitude very helpful in uh, you know, how to view the world because it does this well the whole book the whole science of getting rich book is about moving out of the competitive mindset into the creative mindset so so yeah it's uh, it's a very profound chapter in the book and I think it would soothe anyone who's who is panicking about climate change 
about planetary changes and yeah, maybe they can start thinking about man's place in all of this and um, why, you know, why things are the way they are. So there's no shortage of opportunity, of things, of raw materials and and as the book advances as we get into future chapters we'll start to hear more about how man can use these resources to his benefit by acting and thinking in a certain way chapter three